Hi, I'm Kristen. Welcome back to the Silver Star Forest. I am the witch of the Silver Star Forest and I have a few more witchy things that I have hauled as a beginner witch and so I wanted to share them with you because I think they're really cool. I think they're great um, pieces to add to your altar to um, help you envision your path and kind of find your way in uh, witchcraft and finding um, steps in your journey that are really resonating with you and helping you pick the things that you want to celebrate, the things that you want to do spells with and things like that. So let's get started. The first two items are goddesses that I picked up from Bridget's Grove on Etsy. She has a number of different goddesses available at certain times and you pick one according to the general philosophy of that goddess. So the initial one I got is bronze and she has a little crystal and then wheat here. The goddess that I am researching and studying at this point is Sig from North Norse mythology and she was the goddess of harvest and family so i was drawn to this one and then the next is um i believe it was aphrodite and the goddess of love i think the really cool thing is see their little belts here they have a crystal and then some other charm that relates to the general kind of goddess that you are working with. And so it's not necessarily specific to one, but um, other goddesses that were um, a harvest and um, things like that or other goddesses of love and friendship and things like that. So I think they're beautiful. They're made of resin. So each one is going to be a little bit different. I have more coming and you can also get different belts for them as well if you want to change them for the season or anything like that. So these are the first guys that I kind of really um, affordably resonated and um, appealed to me and she's got a really cool awesome Facebook um, page for her um, goddesses as well so when you order from her you'll get the information to join that Facebook and they're really all very positive people so I love that and then I got two herb Sets. These are from 13 Moons on Etsy. And they have 13 herbs in each one. And the reason that I really liked these is they have some less common, common um, herbs in here. So a lot of really basic herbs we already have because my husband's a fantastic chef. So there's bay in number two. I guess I'll start with number two. Um, and clove, which we already have. Lavender, which is in um, a lot of spells and available through a lot of kits. But it also has chicory, comfrey, elecropane. I'll spell it down here for you because, I don't know, eucalyptus, jasmine, Lavender, Leven, Leven Verbena, Myrrh, uh, which is actually a resin, Orange, Wormwood, and Yarrow. So common things for spells and rituals, but not necessarily things you can find in your grocery store. 
and they're really nice sized packages. So, and they're labeled, so you can transfer that label onto another container if you want to do that, or just leave them in here and be able to know what they are. In herb set number one, we have allspice, which is very common, obviously, angelica, basil, which is super uh, common, chamomile, cinnamon, frankincense, the resin, uh, hyssop, mugwort, peppermint, rose, rosemary, sage, and valerian. So, so again, some really um, uncommon but common for spells and rituals that um, are available in these sets. And they do have more sets um, available on their Etsy site. So I'm probably going to get more of these as well. The shipping was really fast. Everybody was really nice. So I'll be buying from them again. And this was just a, an additional purchase from, um, Tamed Wild, Tamed Wild, <laughs> because I started partway through the year and for the last six months of the year, they're putting in amulets to do a ritual at the end of the this year or the beginning of the next year. So I was missing out on some of those and the bracelet that came. Nothing super exciting, but I wanted to have all the pieces to go with what I have. A little silver moon and a gold sun and the fun thing about tamed wild is they send you things that you actually do a ritual with in your subscription box so i love that these next items i'm really in love with these are from a shop called pure mystical mayhem one which is near me and i had been looking for a besom or broom for my altar for some time and I just started cruising around um, looking at um, shops in my state because I wanted to kind of support a local small business and not only is she close to me but she makes really cute stuff. Smells like cinnamon, but look at the flower and the triple goddess charm with the stones on it and a feather. I believe she's Native American, as she said in one of her notes. So there's the besom. And then I also got a witch's bell, which is super cute. Obviously these are handmade, so the shipping was a little bit longer, but um, within the time that she set to receive it, it took a ridiculously long time to get here um, through the postal service considering uh, we live in the same state. It actually left the state and came back, which is so weird, but I think it's so pretty and um, matches my personality. She has a lot of different um, and bigger dream catchers and um, wall art, things like that, if that's something that you're interested in. I'll have the links to all these shops down below. Okay, let's see the next thing. Okay, so I got two little cute bundles from this shop and he puts the items together in kind of a 
theme. Um, this first one is for green witches or nature witches. And um, he's in the Northeast in the United States. And so there were some items that were very familiar to me um, spending summers there with my grandparents as a child. So there were items that I really wanted to have here as well as some great items for um, for Samhain. So we have this cute little vial of acorns here. And this was not an item that was listed, but these are little pieces of corn. And then we have some little amethyst. And this appears to be snake skin, uh, which was definitely not on the list because I may have passed it by in that case, but it may come in handy. And then two little wood rounds, which were not listed. He did throw in some extras here, which was really cool. And then this looks like just some wildflowers, which are always nice for offerings or decorating your altar or things like that. So super pretty. And a feather here. These were all individually wrapped in this box. I did um, open it and get everything out and kind of play with it, but I put it back in the box so I could share it with you, but I really want to put these to good use. So it's time. And then we have a little bit bigger pine cone, and I may be wrong that these are a different kind of cone than pine um, because I have lots of pine and fir trees out here from where to gather them. And then we have some birch bark and another larger acorn and some moss. And these are needles off of a tree that I totally, no, these are wood or sticks off a particular tree that I just forgot what they are, but I'll be sure and put it down below. And this little silk bag that you can make a spell bag or a witch bag. Um, Put your intentions in here and bury them in the yard, whatever inspires you. And then on the listing, he had a wood bowl, but I got a wood scoop instead. And it says that some things may be switched out according to availability, but I think that's super cute for herbs. And these were, again, from Wizard Supply Co. on Etsy. There's his card. So that's the first box. That's the green witch slash nature witch hedge witch um, box. And then the second one, I left a little more wrapped up so you get a better idea of how they come to you. And I picked this for a very particular reason and I'm going to save that for last. I was looking for that specifically, but they have, they're all wrapped up with the, the stars in the tissue paper. So carefully packaged with love and intention, I believe. You know how you just kind of get a feeling about another Etsy seller? So we have a, I know this is not a Real crystal, but I think the spoon is 
super cute to keep on your altar with your herbs to do spells or make salts, things like that. And I think this was the white sage, looks like it. And then these little guys, I forgot to look up and see what they are. There's some sort of crystal pebble, so put that below. And then we have three black spell candles here with the pentagram on them. You can never have enough black candles. And then a nice big piece of, I think this is selenite, if I remember correctly, so I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. Nice big chunk there, the crystal quartz. I can't remember. And we have a little purple bag in this one. And even though these were two bundles, and I think I, I guess I did order them at the same time, so they shipped them together. There's amethyst in this one as well. Lots of pieces of amethyst. And again, you can't have too much amethyst because it has so many things to do around most spaces and places that a bunch of little chips are going to go a long way. And then what I think is the piece de la resistance, that's probably not it. Anyway, I was just looking for a little cauldron and I ran across the wizard's website. So this is a witch's altar cauldron bundle, something like that. So I found a whole bunch of these cauldrons and they, you know, run about the same on everyone's store. Um, I wanted this to burn incense and um, um, offerings and things like that in. So when I ran into the wizard's bundle, I got all excited that I could get these extra things with them as well. He has all sorts of fun themed um, altar tools and bundles on his website, so um, on Etsy, so do go check that out. Okay, similarly, this is a an Amazon so we got a little of a reflection off there. But anyway, I was looking for the charcoal tablets. And I don't imagine I'm going to use them a lot. And mostly on Amazon, you're getting packages of like 100 plus. And I really just kind of wanted a little stash to begin with until I know how much I'm um, using it. But um, this little set comes with resins and a terracotta bowl burner. So if you wanted to do something not so itchy, um, you can use the terracotta burner or if you need something out that's not quite so conspicuous. And this was pretty inexpensive compared to buying a big thing of charcoal discs. I mean, I think they were comparable. So cute little terracotta bowl there. And a good amount of frankincense resin. 
and I believe this is the myrrh resin. It's not noted on here. The others are very strange. And gum benzoin. I'm not familiar with that, but again, a nice chunk of that. And this is the gum damar, D-A-M-A-R. So just something else to play around with. I'm loving um, my incense cones and sticks and I'm seeing a lot of spells that I want to do with air rituals with incense, um, with the charcoal burner and loose herbs and things like that. So um, this gets me there. And just to show you also one of my spiritual boxes, if you will, is North of Stella and they're a jewelry subscription. So I got these earrings for October and this rune necklace for September. And at first I wasn't super excited about the rune, but once I found out um, the properties, the enchantment about it, I fell in love with it. So I'm really happy to have it. But I'm going to stop this haul here because I think it's getting pretty long. I have more to do, so make sure you're subscribed and get notifications so you know when my next one comes up. I'll link my previous um, witchy hauls down below and at the end so you can go check those out as well. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself, taking care of each other, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. And then lastly, I have a few more pieces of jewelry, rings specifically. I have another one that I can't find, which kind of bums me out, but hopefully I'll have it before the next one. I think I showed you this one because I've had it for a while. Really pretty moonstone with the um, crescent moon there. And from the same shop, I got this moonstone. And it's got a nice, almost princess setting. These are very affordable, by the way, under $20. And this one. And then these two actually came out of Fragrant Jewels candles i ordered their i think it's called full moon candles and i ordered two of them in two different sizes so i could get the moon rings that they have and speaking of which they have a witchy um bundle for halloween that um looks like has some fun halloween um, magical things about it as well all right, so that's it for this time. I have more things coming, so there will be more. I am going to sit down and talk to you about what I've been doing, how I got here, what I'm learning, what I'm reading, things like that, um, to give you an idea of where I am, kind of what decisions I'm making about my journey and my practice. Um, and I'm going to do it in parts and where I've come from, how I got here, what I've been doing, things like that, that I just said. Um, so if you're interested in that, I hope you'll subscribe. I would love to hang out with you some more and talk about all things witchy, whether you're a beginner witch or not. And I hope that you are doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and taking care of each other. Have a great evening, day, whatever time it is where you are, and I will see you next time. Thank you.